What's up guys, this is Your Majesty Gaming here with another diecast review. This is the third one this week, I'm pretty sure. So I've done 2001 Tile Digger Win, I did 2003 Tile Digger Win, now I'm doing a 2003 True M Music Budweiser Stained Car. What I really like, I've always liked Dale Jr.'s Rock Schemes that has, that's black and whatever that color is and has a little bit of red in it I don't know I want to say it's mustard gold yellowish something along those lines but I can't I just woke up so I can't put my finger on it but I really like I really like this scheme especially the Dave Matthews one but I like the stained one better because I actually like the band stain and my favorite driver driving with a band that I actually like and that's stain right here I think that's so cool I mean this scheme is cool it's 2003 and he raced us at Richmond one time that year and it has the Winston Cup logo which I love this is automatically why I love this scheme more along with it being that it's stained and the hood and trunk opens as you can see. Get a good look at the engine. Turning the flash on really gives a better look at stuff on the inside. Let's we'll take a quick look at the details here. Really nice. And I think the other looks to be a seat and cockpit. Window net. I'm gonna take a deeper look in here. Yeah, I definitely should turn the flash on when I'm recording this room because you can see it a lot better. I mean, I just, I love the colors. Got the classic Ritz snap on, Dracker, Napa, Bud Pole Award right there, McDonald's, and I think, I think that might be Powerade. Diesel, or no, Jessel. Autometer, there's EA Sports. Bunch of the classic logos, really. And there you have that DEI logo, which they used to censor his bud scheme. If you like Dale Jr.'s classic eight schemes that he ran, I'd recommend getting this. They're always great to get. I don't know how much more of these I'm going to do. I mean, I might not do any for a little while, but to update you guys, I got a winner circle. Dale Sr. I believe this is 1999. I'll have to look. Let me get this. Yeah, it was made in 1998. Yeah, I do I do believe that he ran this car in 1998. I believe this is the 1998 variation. Do they have the NASCAR 50th anniversary on it? I don't see it anywhere. Which sucks. But this was put made in 1998. Now I'm pretty sure this is 1995. This is a silver and orange car, which I think is really nice. I probably should have gotten it in action, but I have a lot money of money to get any other diecast. So I got some winter circle ones. They were pretty affordable. I got a couple of nice ones. They're still really awesome. So let's take a good look. And a hood and trunk appears to, yeah, that, it definitely opens. I don't know if this opens or not. It might. I, it no, it doesn't open. The hood and trunk is not open in this one, but but in this one it does. You see, because you can tell. So I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, I mean, at least the trunk opens. Um, I think 
No, hood, not trunk. We definitely know the hood opens. I don't think the trunk does now that I get a closer look at it. But I'm not going to open these. Nineteen ninety eight. But when did he run this scheme? Yeah, I knew it. See, it's right here. It's right here where he ran this car in 1995. But I think the year that this was made, it doesn't say. But it doesn't specifically say a year when it was made. But I also got a 164 Truex car. His Ducks Unlimited. Toyota Camry with Bass Pro Shops. It's a real beauty. And that concludes. I got Dale Jr.'s 2005 Bud Born on Date scheme. And that's pretty much it with the 124s. I got his Talladega win. And I got Truex's, uh, Furniture row Denver mattress. So that's pretty much concludes this review and just updating you guys. Just thought I would because I figured you'd be interested. I don't know if I'm gonna do many more reviews. There's not really much I can say. I mean they're awesome die cast. But I might do a little less because I don't know if I'm going to do one every time I get a new diecast, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I should be doing Richmond today. I'll probably only do one race today, and I might try to do some another game, so peace.